So, hello to all. I'm Hugo Gomes from the uh, Institute of Polytechnic uh, of Tomar, and I'm here to presenting the prehistory of Middle Tagus region in Portugal, and in specific, the Turar project that is, is not a, a project focused on prehistoric uh, uh, sites, but is uh, in fact uh, a strategy, uh, build a strategy to develop a uh, region based on archaeological uh, evidences that uh, that we have. So, uh, the, uh, I will start for the Middle Tagus region uh, territory, of course, and we are in Iberian Peninsula, and from the geological point of view, uh, as you saw in the in the figures on the on the right, is very monotonous uh, ge uh, geological uh, uh, context, but we have, in fact, a lot of uh, uh, quite diverse uh, uh, landscapes related with these with these uh, geomorphical and uh, geological events that happened in the in the past that build the the, the Iberian Peninsula uh, uh, substrates and in, uh, that uh, in fact they are uh, the, one of the characteristics of the implement, implementation of the the humans and the, the the evidences that we found in fact are also related with the, the landscape and the geology that we have in our base. In specifically, the, the Middle Tagus region is in fact a region uh, where we contact all these uh, uh, main uh, geomorphical, geomorphological features in the Iberia. We have the, the metamorphic complex, mainly composed by schists, quartzites, and those very hard uh, rocks of the Disparian Massif. We have also a contact with the limestone border composed with, uh, of course, limestones and uh, the silex and shards and that, that, mate that those materials that were uh, used in the, with the, uh, by the communities in the past. And we have also these, uh, these uh, sedimentary beds and uh, geomorphical structure that, in fact, is a, a, a geomorphical feature uh, built by a river, the Tagus River, that, uh, 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 that is the base of the margins of the rivers, of course, and of course the humans occupy these and uh, abandon some uh, lithic implements. For example, they occupy the these territories uh, nearby the river and they they leave their their evidences there. So, in fact, we are here in the heart of Portugal with this geodiversity that, in fact, give conditions to human to the past human uh, uh, civilizations and communities. Uh, uh, implemented here, and it, this is why we have so many uh, evidences from the the, the the past in our region. Uh, the the Turar project, in fact, focuses in this region, but just in five municipalities that uh, IPT work in the last uh, 30, 40 years uh, in the scientific and ed educative point of view. Uh, but in fact, this region has a lack of. Uh, uh, tourism and is a region that is uh, losing a lot of population uh, regarding the Portugal conditions and the, the, the territory uh, distribution and mainly the, the most part of population in Portugal is, is in the coast, in the Atlantic coast and of course the interior is becoming a uh, kind of abandoned and without uh, any people. But for, for the other side we have uh, a huge amount of uh, uh, archaeological evidence that uh, were, were the basis the base of this uh, of this strategy. Uh, we have a lot of archaeological evidence. We could start to thinking use these evidences to attract new population, new tourism, new uh, ways of uh, 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 educative uh, programs, for example to bring, bring, bring people again to this territory and, of course, develop the, the ecosystem, uh, the eco-social system of this, uh, of this land. So the starting point for, was, in fact, understanding and valuing the archaeological heritage of this region that represents over the 90% of the heritage resources in the Middle Tagus. So, in fact, when we realize that we have all these kind of heritage some of some of them fantastic like the roman uh, ruins of a uh, uh, roman bath uh, we have a, a huge complex of rock art sites uh, in the tagus region and in, here in in the ocresa valley we have a lot of evidence from neolithic uh, uh, communities like uh, megalithic moment, monuments and uh, um, 
uh, other uh, other uh, uh, sites that probably you already know by the the, the presentation of Pro Professor Luis Osterbeck uh, when he speaks about DPT, uh, what he makes in prehistory, and of course. Uh, re relating again with this geodiversity that I had to speak in the in the beginning of this presentation, we have different uh, uh, kind of sites like the caves uh, nearby to my region, the castles in, implemented in the granite and the, the quartzite crests. Of course, the the the, the monumental the, the buildings that were building since Neolithic the, from the mon mon megalithic monuments and the bridges and the, uh, all of course they use the, the natural raw materials that they have that we have in this uh, in this region and being a very rich region of geological uh, lithologies for example uh, they don't need to spread to to other to other uh, uh, territories if because they found very very near all these kind of uh, lithologies uh, this is one very promising uh, uh, site that we work. Uh, you listen Sara talking about the paintings in the caving in the caves, but we have also uh, uh, open rock art uh, uh, sites, and this is the Ocresa Valley where we all the years we make, for example, excavations and the new pr uh, prospection uh, activities uh, to find uh, more rock art and more evidences of these communities that uh, live live in this region. So. Uh, speaking about the Turark, and uh, after this uh, briefly presentation of the prehistory of Middle Tagus region, the Turark project, in fact, came uh, uh, in a multidisciplinary uh, uh, way. So we create a multidisciplinary team, you know, Sarah with uh, the archaeology, I'm geologist, and the other colleagues from the tourism, from management, from informatics, and the, also conservation and preservation, to start to build a uh, uh, strategy to develop this region from using the, the archaeological um, uh, evidences that uh, that we have. In fact, this is a, a, a con uh, an amount of partnerships that we realize. Uh, the EPT, of course, was the, the, the promoter of the, the project, but we also work with colleagues from the, the scientific centers that work directly with EPT. Uh, we also with the Earth and Memory Institute in Masao, also with the other, uh, um, for example, the uh, uh, tourism agents in Portugal, the NERSA, that is the empresarial uh, activities uh, in the region, also the, the management, national management of uh, heritage in Portugal and the other uh, um, partners in with the objective of using the, the new bridges uh, program from UNESCO to use like this territory as a, as a pilot case to try to apply this kind of a strategy uh, in, a, in, this, uh, in this small territory that we have in Portugal. So uh, this is a project that in fact aims to contribute for the development of the, the Middle Tagus region as a pilot case uh, addressing low density territories as i explained briefly briefly the strategy was to of the project have two huge pillars the from one point of view the accessibility of the cultural and the territorial heritage of course we focus in the archaeological heritage but allowing tourism and preservation issues uh, and uh, this one this is one of the the pillars the other was of course trying to uh, assess these sites. Uh, you know that some of the archaeological sites are not uh, very accessible for uh, tourism issues. They are in the middle of the forest. They are in the, in the, the, in the valleys very, with a lot of uh, difficulties to being assessed by a, a common uh, public. So we try also to, to, to support this strategy with new technology resources like the uh, augmented reality and those those new new digital resources that could help us to communicate science in a very easily way and of course we have this balance between tourism and sustainability of the the sites for one side the tourism tourism help the the economic point of view of the of the development of these communities and from the point of view of the ecological uh, uh, issues 
we also to have a, a, a sensitivity a sensitivity of the sites using the using the capacity of each sites to avoiding that the sites being destroyed uh, very easily and as you know the archaeological heritage faces some difficulties regarding the promotion because some sites are not uh, you know we arrive in the site and we just some some you could some you uh, we could see just some lithic in this in the floor it's not so easy to communicate like other structures like a castle or a, a beautiful uh, building so sometimes uh, we need to use another another uh, kind of uh, uh, tools to make the interpretation and that, uh, to achieve the sustainable level development um, in, a, in another level. Uh, of course, all these uh, uh, strategy have some uh, uh, points that could that should be achieved by the by the region, like the economic uh, viability of uh, of these uh, of these strategies. The one of the objectives, of course, is the local the local prosperity, uh, but also the quality of the employments that will be created. Uh, the visitor satisfaction, of course, is one of the, the main uh, uh, objectives of, of the uh, sustainable strategy for tourism. We don't want tourism that don't want to return or speak bad about the, the visits that they have. So uh, all these uh, factors, the physical integrity, the, the community well-being were considered in this uh, strategy uh, uh, development by Turak project. And these projects have uh, a lot uh, of axes we try to implement the, the the try to create a structure in the project uh, calling calling the, the 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 activities in axes so we start of course for the inventory we need to know how many resources we have in the region so we 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 start with a huge database in the national inventory basis and you could assess the the links for uh, to know how many archaeological evidences we have, uh, we start to to uh, um, uh, evaluate also with uh, the collaboration of the EPT um, uh, uh, researchers the 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 cultural value of these sites, and this was a result of a PhD uh, uh, thesis that in fact create a, a map, a story map telling this, the history of the cultural sites in the in the region and uh, we uh, uh, work directly also with the five municipalities that we choose as pilot case to uh, uh, with the experts in each municipalities to have a, a, a effective evaluation of the sites they know better than the researchers of course the the heritage that they have in the municipality so it was a uh, a, a database built with all these uh, uh, different levels of uh, knowledge, the national, the regional, and also the, the local one, to, in fact, achieve uh, 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 a round number of more or less 500 archaeological sites in this territory to be used as a tourism or educative uh, uh, resource. In the point of view of science and research in this project, of course, we make presence in a very different uh, projects, uh, uh, again, in an, also in the national level, but also international uh, uh, Congress, because we want to, this is a project that we don't want that the project die here in this region. It could be uh, escalated in, a, in, a, in Portugal and also international uh, uh, sites. So it is a strategy that could be applied and adapted for uh, each region, but the the main uh, the main pillars are uh, were built. Uh, of course, in the point of view of education and training, we 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 develop a, a large quantity of uh, training actions uh, online and uh, also presential to uh, uh, involve all this community since the senior uh, universities, since the schools, the professors the stakeholders of the region the the experts also that work in other in other in other nearby regions that were very interesting in this kind of strategy so uh, it was in fact uh, a, a very good uh, achieve of the project we we have more or less more uh, more than 200 uh, people that make this training uh, with us 
so we have at least 200, 200 people that already know the heritage of the Middle Tagus region. We create also in collaboration with the Maçon, the municipality and the other partners, a, a participatory science app that could be uh, very useful to increase also the knowledge of the immaterial uh, uh, heritage, the myths, the legends, the gastronomy related with the archaeological sites to increase, in fact, the story map of the region. So we is a very useful, uh, 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 friendly use uh, app. So anyone could increase their heritage that they know in their in their villages and nearby their houses and their schools, uh, helping us. Of course, this information will be validated by experts, but could help us to increase all this knowledge that we have till now. From the point of view of preservation and community engagement, we have, we realize a lot of activities also to show them the, the heritage, in particular the archaeological heritage that we have in the region, doing a lot of uh, uh, activities, uh, and in particular this one re uh, relating to the European uh, uh, Rock Art Day. Uh, we develop also in the point of view of tourism and community development, the, the implementation of the first festival of prehistory and traditional knowledge in Maçon. And this is also a complement of the archaeological experimental park that we that we build and we we, we still develop some activities in the in this uh, park that was built in fact with the Maçon community. So this was a uh, a uh, uh, product also of the Turak project to uh, to pro uh, project, in fact, the region uh, uh, with this archaeological uh, knowledge that we produce. And the, in the communication and marketing uh, access, of course, we make presence in all the, uh, the, the social networks like uh, uh, um, Facebook, uh, Instagram, we have a, a, apps, a website in, we, where we all this information is uh, uh, organized and uh, uh, spread. So we, you could uh, search for this in these um, in these social networks and also the, the website to see more information regarding this project. But in the end, what uh, the objective of this project was in fact to develop this strategy uh, plan to implement in low density territories, but in fact, that could be applied for uh, every region that have interest to develop some sustainable strategy uh, using all these uh, different axes, achieving all the, the objectives uh, of, of UNESCO, for example, to, to be classified as a, as a, a site taking in account the, the, the the tourism and the economic and social development, but also the preservation and the, the conservation of the sites. That is the most important because if you lose the sites, also the rest uh, uh, is destroyed. So the Turart project outcomes are very promising, showcasing the potential of the proposed methodology for the sustainable archaeological tourism and promoting uh, public interest in archaeology and heritage preservation. And I finalize uh, this uh, presentation, inviting you, all of you to come to visit the Maçon village where we we have all these, uh, these uh, strategy implement. And of course, Turark already finished as a funding project, but we are able to, to present this uh, everywhere in er any territory that is interesting uh, to have our help. Uh, to develop a strategy like this. Thank you.